This is Nine Inch. So everyone knows that Richard Hart likes to talk about his big PP, right? He's an, he even has like this Hummer truck that just says big PP on the, the license plate. So he apparently believes he's a hung, right? So there is the eight inch, I think it's called eight inch, the centralized exchange on Ethereum and Binance Smart Chain. So funnily enough, we now have nine inch, <laughs> nine inch with a nice logo of a uh, aubergine, you know, with the pulse logo going through. This is the rock hard decks staking and yield farming for pulse chain and Ethereum, right? Nine inch is doing a sacrifice. Now, we all know that pulse chain did a sacrifice and a bunch of other dads false on sacrifices. What happens is that you are giving your crypto to this platform without any um, expectation of any financial return is what's happening. But generally, when you give sacrifices, two things will happen. Number one, you're going to make a ton of money from the pump, the early pump action on the product, and you're already sitting pretty because you've got the token already, right? Or the token price totally crumbles and you end up with losing money essentially, which if, like say PulseX token, right? Um, it's actually below the sacrifice phase but it did go above it initially. So people could have sold at that point. They had the opportunity to do it. So it, was it a failure? No, but it definitely hasn't set the world alight as people, a lot of people predicted it would yet. So that's the risk with the rock hard DEX. Let's read a little bit about it. You can grow your holdings, nine inches of DEX and yield farm. Apparently it's going to have extremely high yield when it opens next week. You're going to penetrate the mainstream crypto market. Created as a Pulsican centric platform where you earn rewards by providing liquidity and staking your favorite tokens and engaging an open DEX with exciting yield farming opportunities awaits you. This is what's going on. It's going to be in Pulse Chain and Ethereum. A firm grip on DeFi, 9 inch fills a gaping hole on Pulse Chain and Ethereum, a DEX with special love for meme coins. 9 inch has the best DEX user experience by focusing on mainstream engagement. Financial products don't need to be boring. Similar tokenomics to PulseX, buy back and burn, essentially. A uh, 9 inch token is deflationary and is a DAO used to vote which projects get high yield farming pools available on Ethereum and Pulse Chain shortly after sacrifice. It's a two token system. The 9 inch token is the main asset of the DEX. It's deflationary by nature. It has a fixed supply at launch using 9 inch token to earn juicy rewards by staking and participating in the best yield farms. 9 inch is also the DAO token of the platform. Holders decide which projects get privileged listings and yield farming staking pools. BBC big bonus coin, not big black coin, <laughs> is exactly what the name suggests, a bonus coin that you earn as a reward. So we're going to be sacrificing for this uh, nine inch token, right? And that means that as soon as we open, we can start staking the nine inch token to get ourselves the big bonus coin, right? The BBC. Um, <laughs> that will be the, the yield uh, rewarding coin, right? You earn BBC by staking other assets in single staking pools and by providing liquidity. So we'll have single staking and we'll have yield farming LP staking as well for the BBC. Excellent stuff. I like yield farming. This is how I make most of my money. This is how I became rich in crypto, right? Yield farming. I'm not a coin trader. Very, I'm not very good at trading. I like finding great strategies for yield. That's, for example, why I was able to um, get, you know, lots of bags of crypto, right? By just endlessly yield farming. Um, I really am stubborn with a lot of projects that I believe in and I rarely like sell all the bag and I'll call it squirrel away somewhere, yield farm it somewhere else. Um, I love yield, right? Don't forget performance enhancer. Uh, this looks exactly like pancake swap. Fair enough. They're just forking pancake swap V2, whatever. <laughs> this is the thing about um, pulse chain, right? Pulse Chain offers all these pretty non-revolutionary, right? They're not remaking the wheel or anything here over on Pulse Chain. They're just offering the opportunity to get in on day one with another opportunity of a blockchain where we all kind of know what's going to happen. It's going to go on fire. People are going to buy this stuff. It's going to go up and then it's probably going to crash quite hard because it's already been done before and we know exactly what, how it works, right? But the opportunity for investors like us is that not many people yet know about pulse chain so if we get ourselves a nice position and focus mostly on growing your pulse from these products right so you want to go in with you know sacrifice your pulse into this 
get the tokens, and then quickly figure out a way to strategically sell out those tokens back into Pulse. So by the time the tokens start crashing in value, which most often they probably will, especially in a bear market, you've already made your rewards back in Pulse, right? Then you just continue this rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, slowly growing your bag, okay? Uh, if you wanted a really safe way of doing this, then you could just use PulseX, right? And farm there. Which, uh, I've put the majority of my capital um, risk capital actually into the farm section, right? So on this wallet, for example, it's just like two grand of ETH with Pulse token, right? Just earning the incentive token. Sell the incentive token back into Pulse. Done. Easy, right? But then we can start to go further with things like 9inch, okay? And take risk, okay? Uh, so damn hot. 9inch has no mystery wallet fees. Everything goes back into buying and burning 9inch and BBC tokens. 0 0.06 of trading fees buys and burns 9inch. 0 0.01 Buys and burns the big B BBC. Safe. <laughs> uh, <laughs> great. Uh, quite funny, right? Uh, let's measure our DEXs. Okay, so they have B swap, they have Zyber swap, and they have Beethoven, right? Three great DEXs, right? Total value locked in all these 82 million, 21 million, and 147. Inflation, and they're all inflationary, but they're saying that their BBC is deflationary and the nine inch is deflationary too. So that's this covered pretty much in total. I think it's going to be successful. I think it's going to do a great job. So I will be now getting into the sacrifice. I got in the DAO earlier. I asked for a referral link because there is a referral link available for this sacrifice. The sacrifice ends in six days or day 24 of 30 of the sacrifice. Um, the price changes, I believe. You can get a 10% bonus from being referred. You must connect your wallet before you sacrifice. So if you use my link in the description, you're going to get a 10% bonus. Then once you get that, then you have your own link. You can give it to other people that can also get themselves a 10% bonus. That's how it works. All you got to do is connect with that person's referral link. Then it will say you have been accepted to the referral program. And then you would send whatever you want to send to this wallet address here by clicking on this and copying, then you will get your sacrifice totals complete. So what do they accept? They accept Ethereum, Pulse Chain, and Binance Smart Chain coins, ETH, Pulse, and BSC. That's it. No others, okay? On Ethereum, you can send Ethereum, USDT, USDC, or DAI on Pulse Chain, Pulse, PulseX, Incentive, DAI from Ethereum, USDT from Ethereum, USDC from Ethereum, on Binance Smart Chain, BNB, BUSD, USDT, and USDC. So I'm going to be sending over some Pulse token. Let's do it right now. So we take Pulse Chain, Pulse, da -da -da, copy the address, copy, and then send that over. Yeah, there we go. Four million Pulse sacrificing into the Ether, hoping for a successful launch for Nine Inch. Um, Got to risk it for the biscuit, essentially. That's what we're talking about, right?